So here's a list of the items which come from the Costco component of this meal recipe that I use. Whatever you want to pick uh, to customize it to your own tastes will vary. So let's start first with the rice ramen noodles from Lotus Foods at Costco. You'll notice that all these weights are in gram amounts because we're in Canada and this was from the Costco Canadian website. Some of it is purchased in store and some is from their online site. The ramen noodles are very good and they cook a little faster than my alternative preference which is not available at Costco and is a Canadian food product which is the Caslow sourdough pasta and that is highly recommended for those of you who would prefer a slightly healthier option which takes longer to cook you need about seven to eight minutes of boil time for this one next again from Costco online we have the sliced chicken freeze-dried meat it comes in a box in Canada it's four hundred dollars for a box that has six tins in it which is substantially more affordable than buying one can from Amazon after that Costco also sells this large bucket of freeze-dried vegetables and we'll put a link for that supplier which is near where we are in Banff here they're in Springbank outside of Calgary and they can be dealt with directly probably similar items available in the US for Canadians that's worth checking out and from this bucket what I have is uh, freeze-dried broccoli and freeze-dried peas that I've opened already that I'm working on now and you'll see this is a variety pack so you can take a selection and just work your way through them seasonings that we come up with uh, before that uh, mashed potatoes which are inspired by the ubiquitous and apparently popular ramen bomb that I have heard is uh, becoming a viral staple for hiking food it filled me with horror to watch the video on it with the amount of preservatives and salt and uh, glucose and everything else that's in that recipe from a combination of the Mr. Noodles which is not something I would eat and the can of Spam which is in spite of all the salt uh, pretty heavy so these are the uh, mashed potatoes I put in uh, turmeric for its obvious benefits for uh, your joints but if you do that you'll add that uh, on a regular basis maybe because you're taking it every day but this goes well into food and doesn't affect the taste if anything it makes the taste better the one heavier thing which you could replace with your choice of bullion cubes or some sort of powder but I really like this better than bullion paste it doesn't add that much extra weight and the uh, benefit in taste really makes it worthwhile especially if this is for uh, a weekend trip rather than say some through hike and uh, some of the spices you can use are the granulated garlic the dried chopped onion and of course the ubiquitous and mandatory Worcester sauce part two some more items that are not necessarily Costco although this can of dust off which is a, a food grade inert gas that you can obtain from your local office supplies store or in a pack at Costco which is where I get it uh, I use it for everything for preserving food and purging oxygen from containers more about that when we get there um, you probably can find this on Amazon it's freeze-dried seasonings in the present instance I've got some ginger mint some more garlic which is an alternative to the powdered garlic from Costco which I probably prefer and some red onion another alternative to the Costco dried onion which is going to taste better and from Amazon I really like this Hoosier Hill Farms premium whole milk powder 
I use it for my coffee in the morning and for lots of different types of cooking activities. So it's one of the good Amazon purchases. You can also buy from these fellows some uh, powdered butter, I believe, and some powdered cheddar cheese. Moving on, again, you will see that the point of this duster is when I package my food in these envelopes, which I got from AliExpress, they are a food grade envelope, I believe they're food grade, they're a foil envelope, which I can seal, and then they have a zip lip on them, and they have the uh, accordion base. So I got those from AliExpress, and I got two different sizes here at the moment. I originally bought these for packaging our hydroponic nutrient solution in in two parts. The green bag is kind of small and it may be suitable for the smaller. We'll see when we do the preparation how these work out. Stage one is going to be the long boil phase of cooking so we prepare that accordingly. So for that I start with populating my first pouch with and by the way, I just washed my hands with the ramen. Add, this is for one person. And because I'm the one that's going to be eating this, I'm using my hands. If you're preparing for other people, you can take the appropriate precautions. There's our ramen put in. And next. I'm going to add four. If you preferred, you could use your sourdough pasta. Next, I'm going to add an amount of the freeze dried chicken, which I would like to have. Your taste may vary, so I'm not going to give an exact measurement. I'm just going to eyeball what I know I usually like to have, which is about a scoop say like that or one and a half scoops even. So once again we are doing the long boil part of this which means adding the seasonings that uh, also won't be adversely affected by the longer boil time while the noodles are cooking. Starting out with uh, I'm going to add some garlic for those of you who are French and for those of you who are English. Then do the same with mint to taste. Of course ginger which is my favorite. So I'm going to use two of those. Ramen really, and the same with onion. I'm going to go with the red onion. Again, these are all freeze dried, and I'm going to do with three of the red onion. So now, when I have my seasonings in there, and if you're going to use bullion cubes, you could either add it now or put it into the next phase with the freeze-dried veg. Before sealing this, this is where the dust off comes in. I'm going to purge the oxygen by partially sealing the zip. Then I'm going to place the straw in at the corner and give it a shot. that pushes the oxygen out and this is held by gravity so now it's displaced oxygen in this case I've sealed the like a ziplock and I'm going with to the further step I will heat seal a seam along there above 
this notch and then I just can tear that off when I'm in the field like a normal package of food. Now this pack will last easily one or two decades if left like that in a cold dark place. I however probably don't need this to last for more than a week. Next I'm going to add the veg and optionally you can add the mashed. I've labeled this number two because this is going to be the post boil stage when I am finished boiling the noodles for four minutes. So again add to your taste. I'm going to add a scoop of peas and some broccoli. Broccoli tends to be my favorite for the trail. For those of you Americans that uh, remember George Bush, he would not approve. However, she who must be obeyed loves it. And by the way, I'm making this video for her because she'll only look at stuff and consider recipes she finds on YouTube. She won't listen to me. So this is one way of influencing her. Call me an influencer. And I'm going to add the about probably about a third of this pouch of the mashed. that and because I don't like to boil the, the turmeric for longer than necessary at this stage I'm going to add which is my daily turmeric supplement allowance two capsules of turmeric and I'm going to put the gel caps into she who must be obeyed it's Costa plant there behind me I think it's Costa she's the flower gardener I'm the veg gardener now that I have those in there and anything else that you want to put in for your post boil stage I will once again purge the oxygen and you can buy these uh, I think packets from Amazon to put into these pouches. I've also seen them on AliExpress and uh, you might want to consider throwing a pouch in there if you're doing it long term. I don't have any right now. So I just purge with the Dymol. This is, uh, by the way, this is NN Difluoromethane for those of you who need to find it because it, in your local office supply store it might be called something different. This is also great. It's R52 coolant. It's also really good for topping up your aircon system in your car because it's compatible with the legacy gas for your aircon system, such as I use in my 1992 Corrado or even in your newer vehicles. This is going to be probably the only EPA approved coolant uh, in a year or two in the USA. And it is food grade, so you can purge. It's also good for purging the oxygen out of your half drank wine bottle. So there's no. Now here's the thing about this milk, which you may might wish to make into the optional part, because it's a bit of a hassle. This milk doesn't like to dissolve in hot water, so you have to premix it with some cold water so I'm going to give it its own pouch and if this is too much going to be too much trouble you can just forego this step. The last stage is just done the night before you leave because these items are perishable and optional so again if you don't want to use the better than bullion chicken broth you could substitute a bullion cube of your liking. I've put about a teaspoon and again it's to your taste 
this has all the salt you're ever going to really need in there that's why there's no salt in this now a few other items that I can fit into this container I'm going to put in because she who must be obeyed is Asian I've been influenced also by living in Asia for 10 years so a little bit of miso paste and because I like hot spicy food I'm going to put in a bit of sriracha and also I'm going to get some more of my probiotic nutrient by putting some kimchi in there this adds some nice probiotic to your diet as well as some fresh so feel free to add whatever else it is that you'd like in there that should be sufficient for me every time I go out I might vary this a bit before we move on to the food prep stage we're going to get the total weight of this and again I get annoyed when people give me weights in ounces and inches so uh, to get back at you guys south of the border that always talk in standard language you'll have to go on Google and do the conversions so we've got grams here now and for this meal we have 355 grams first before you get your stove system set up prepare your milk with cold water make it into a thick creamy type paste as you're going to be adding it to food you're not going to be drinking it add water to your cooking pot that's about 650 milliliters Once you have your boil, or even a near boil, add the contents of packet number one. Now when the ramen noodles are ready, it's time to add the freeze-dried veg. And the good thing about using the alcohol stove is I know that amount of alcohol that I added is going to be good for about a five minute boil so it's going to self-regulate and go out which is what I want it to do. So now I have packet number two and I can already see the boil dying down which is what I want because the veg doesn't really need to be boiled. And now I'm going to add my milk. The flame has gone out. There now we have that's plenty for two people so we're talking about 175 grams per person of packed weight that you carried in order to make that meal and finally the taste test <coughs> the reason I added the freeze-dried veg to the water is it rehydrates quicker than being obstructed by the other ingredients such
good I can taste just a hint of the ginger it's not very salty I did go in of course in that plate and I even put some butter in it modify it as you like and I'm sure you'll come up with something that suits your taste buds.